Hi everyone, today we're going to learn how SQL plays an important role in cybersecurity and especially how SQL injections work. We'll cover the basics behind SQL injections and then let's test our knowledge by solving a hands-on CyberStart cybersecurity SQL hacking challenge. We'll especially go over the headquarters base level 4 and challenge 5. So first, let's understand what are SQL injections. SQL injections are a type of a cyber attack that occur when the attacker is able to manipulate a website's SQL query by inserting malicious SQL code. SQL, or structured query language, is used to communicate with and manage databases. When a website interacts with a database to retrieve or store information, it often uses SQL queries to do so. Now, imagine a website that takes user input, such as a login form where you can enter your username and password. The website then uses the information to construct a SQL query to check if the entered credentials matched or stored in the database. Here's a simplified example. Suppose the website constructs a SQL query like this. In a secure system, the input username and input password would be replaced with the actual username and password entered by the user. However, in a vulnerable system, an attacker could input something like this as the username. This input manipulates the SQL query to become. In this altered query, the condition 1 equals 1 always evaluates to true, essentially bypassing the password check and a double dash in SQL signifies a comment, so everything after it is ignored. This prevents any potential syntax errors caused by the original query. As a result, the attacker might gain unauthorized access to the system because the manipulated query always returns true, regardless of the actual password. To prevent SQL injections, it's crucial to use parameterized queries or prepared statements, which ensure that the user inputs are treated as data, not executable code. Additionally, input validation and proper error handling always plays a vital role in securing against these. So now that we have a basic understanding of what SQL injections are, let's try this quick challenge. A dangerous contact. So in this challenge, we have to essentially put the SQL code in the right error. Um, so we're trying to get into the chopper's contact page. And as we can see here, there is a SQL display output. And our goal is to put the code snippets in the correct format to be able to get the correct response from the server, which is to be able to get the names and their emails, etc. And the flag is the last name of the most recent person. So let's first take a look at the code snippets. Um, so what we understood is that SQL is a programming language. So first, let's start with the quotation mark, which will close all the speech marks. Then we can go with the standard SQL syntax. So when we're trying to get something from a database, we use select whatever we want. So in this case, it makes sense that we want the first names, last name, email, and message from the actual table itself, so messages. And then we have the two dashes, as mentioned before, to make sure everything else registers as a comment behind the um, UI, so there's no other errors. Let's test this. It's loading. Great, so see, our SQL injection worked, and it's that simple. That's why it's important to make sure that our inputs and forms are able to validate the user input, parameterize it, and also be able to filter out certain keywords. And current industry standards to prevent this include prepared statements and this idea of least privilege principles, which is this idea of making sure that we're granting the minimum necessary privilege to database users. As always, if you have any questions, make sure to leave them below in the comments and like and subscribe for more videos.